I am Matthias Doublestein and I'd like to provide you with a few short lectures on quantitative PCR. The first lecture is an introduction. So what's quantitative PCR? Well, basically it's the use of the polymerase chain reaction to determine and compare low quantities of DNA, but not any old DNA, but DNA of a specific sequence that you can amplify using specific PCR primers. So what's the problem that you're trying to solve? Let's assume that you have two tubes available, each containing DNA. That's your tube A and your tube B. So let's further assume that in your tube A you have more copies of your DNA of interest. Let's say it's four copies and in tube number B it's only one copy. So how could you accurately determine the ratio between the, the amounts of DNA that are present in these two samples? So the ratio A over B is what you really want to know. In this case you know already it's four but it's something that you want to find out in samples in that you don't know the amount of DNA. So what can you do? Well, one thing that you can do is to put both DNA samples on a regular agarose gel, like in the slots up here, here and here. You would then run the gel and you would transfer it to a nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane and hybridize with a specific probe to detect your DNA of interest. And then you will typically get a stronger band in sample A, you get a weaker band in sample B. And if you then quantitate the intensity of these bands, it will hopefully reflect the initial ratio of 4 to 1 in our example. So in theory you could do that, but in practice many times the amount of DNA that you're trying to detect is too low to do that. And that's where you need PCR. PCR to amplify your DNA of interest. 